By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And as you can see, we are somewhere different. We're in the world of Arabian Aggro. This video is made by Emil the Blast, and it's about his new Arabian Aggro deck, his iteration of this famous deck. So we can see it's blue, red, and green. Let's see what he has in store for us. I hear a camel in the background. That's good. Here we go. There we see the creature. So we've got a full playset here of Kurt Apes, I believe. Of course, very powerful. One red for a 2-3. That's good business. And then we've got the famous flyer next, I assume. Yes, there we go. Surrender Befreed. Of course, you need a four of in that deck. I'm a little bit surprised to see four Kurt Apes. That's not in every Arabian Aggro Brew. Really nice to see them. I love that creature. And three Urnum Jins instead of four. This is what makes Arabian Knights so powerful. Those beautiful, powerful creatures. You just get a lot of bang for your buck, right? So this is the creature base of the deck. And now we go over, and I believe we are going to look at some of the powerful spells in this brew. Yes, there we go. These are the instants, side blasts, lightning bolts, of course, the, the infamous ancestral recall. And I guess here we're gonna zoom into the psionic blast, two of those, four lightning bolts. Of course, just one Ancestral Recall as it's restricted, also one Mana Drain. How many Power Sings? That's actually quite interesting. Three Power Sings, so no counter spells because of that double blue. He's preferring to go for the Power Sink. And there we see the Sorceries. Beautiful Time Twister, Brain Geyser, and of course the Wheel of Fortune because Arabian Aggro tends to go quite fast, so you want to refill your hand, and that's what these three sorcery cards do. There we go, even more sorcery is the powerful time walk. Interesting here are the two disintegrates. A great finisher, and remember with disintegrate, the creature cannot regenerate, so that's actually quite relevant in old school, especially with all those set trolls around. Okay, okay, door opens. Where are we gonna go next? What a beautiful city. I wanna wander here, I wanna travel. Reminds me of Bazaar of Baghdad. Ah, there we go. The pieces of power. Look at all that jewelry. So he's playing with all the Moxen and, of course, with the Black Lotus. I mean, this deck, you know, it can, it can get some speed. There we see Soul Ring. And this is an interesting one with the Mirror Universe. That's maybe a card you wouldn't expect in a brew like this because it's quite aggressive but mirror universe is a great plan b there we see the chaos orb and exactly this is a reason why mirror universe can work very well with the sylvan library two of those in the deck great for kind of sorting and filtering through your deck and works fantastic with the mirror universe There we see the land base, a Diamond Valley. I think Diamond Valley is really good at this brew, you know. It can give you the extra life when your opponent is trying to get rid of your creatures. In response, you can use Diamond Valley. And also it destroys a creature, so it goes to the graveyard. And of course, we see Mishra's factories in here. Interesting to just pick three. I think that's a good decision because you've got to think about your mana base as well. Talking about that, we see three City of Brass, three Taiga, four Volcanic Islands, and three Tropical Islands. go whoa yeah the two cards that are most feared by this deck of course city in a bottle and blood moon you know city in a bottle speaks for itself discards all your arabian night cards and the city stays in play as well and of course blood moon wrecks all those dual lands and city of brasses turns them into mountains and of course the abyss is a great killer as well we saw the creature base there are no black or artifact creatures in there so the abyss can destroy every creature in this brew so what is Emil going to do about that? Let's see, because I think we're going to go to his sideboard where he's going to show us his treasures, his solutions to the problems. And this is what I really like. Three Artifact Blasts. I think that's a great decision. Artifact Blast can counter that city in a bottle. That's really what you want to do. We see Tranquilities here to take care of the Abyss and the Blood Moon. And we see Red Elemental Blasts. Against, well, just against the blue power, I guess. 
and of course against blue blasts you see some shatters and the suchis of course and the ro whirling dervish those creatures do wonders against and the city in a bottle uh, and against the abyss and i guess this was it this was the video here of emil the blessed uh, thank you emil for making such a beautiful deck tech video and sharing it here on Timmy Talks. Uh, Emil can be found on Instagram. I'll put a link to his Insta account in the description below. So make sure to check that out. Um, and also, if you like this video and you would like to see more deck techs, Emil has actually told me that he's willing to make a few more. Um, if people appreciate this, if people want to see more, and I guess with people, he means you, he means me. Um, I'm a fan. I'm all for it. I love this this content. I love to kind of dive into a deck really looking at it specifically. So if you like that too, let me know in the comments below and I'll ask Emil the Blessed to make another one. For now, thank you very much for watching. If you want to support the channel, by the way, you can do that in a few easy steps. You can like this video. You can also leave a comment. Tell me Again, like if you like these deck techs, if you would like to see more, and if not, why or what you're missing in this deck tech video. You can also subscribe to the channel. All that really, really helps. And if you want to, you can also sponsor the show financially. So you can become a patron on Patreon. There's probably a card popping up right now. You can click on that info card and that will take you straight to the um, to the Patreon page of Timmy Talks. Talking about that, let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at the fantastic, the amazing channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee!